Hello, we are Team 7. Our data scientists are Lucy, Rajat and Gaurav. Our research lead is Santiago, and I, Lucent, am the product owner. And the goal of our project is to use the music streaming history of a Spotify user to predict the user's emotion and mood. Now, given this overarching goal, and after understanding Effie's current approach to the problem space, we felt that instead of taking individual songs from a user's streaming history and presenting music moods and thus perceived listener moods of the songs in a discrete manner, we wanted to more effectively understand emotional changes that are induced into users throughout their streaming experience. And so we are attempting to map our prediction of a user's induced mood changes by analyzing their streaming history as a continuous data set. Next, we have Santiago, who will share a bit about our key research insights. Now we're going to talk about the different research insights that led to the creation of our model. So first, we researched different music mood classification models and found that the models that analyze a combination of lyrics and audio features provide a more robust and dynamic model than those that analyze each independently. Second, we found that there are two dominant emotional models that are used to accurately translate the features of a song into human emotion. The first one being the Valence Arousal Scale, the second one being the Geneva Emotional Music Scale. Finally, we found that the biggest challenge in music mood classification is differentiating between perceived emotion, which is the emotion that a user recognizes in a song, and induced emotion, which is the emotion that the user is actually experiencing while listening to a song. Next, our data scientist will share further details about our model. I am Rajat, and uh, I have done the audio feature analysis of Spotify data. Like I have taken a Kaggle data set, 2000 plus songs with their corresponding audio features, the audio features that I have used in my model is danceability, loudness, speechness, acoustiness, and leaveness. Based on this audio feature, I have done a K-min clustering. I have tried to identify the optimal number of cluster. I have identified using a scree plot that there are five clusters that can classify the data based on the audio features. And you can see these are the five clusters that I have gone. These are the different colors that represent different clusters. And after that, I have taken this data and split this data into the train and taste data with the labeled clusters. And given audio feature, I have built it on a support vector machine classifier that can classify the different cluster based on given feature. Using the testing data, I have checked whether my model prediction is good or not. That testing data is used by Lucy to represent the modes. And these are the modes that I have got from this data, like romantic, nostalgic, artsy, sad, and sing. Hey there, I'm Gaurav. I'm going to demonstrate my model, which classifies songs into their respective modes on the basis of its lyrics. There are five parts to my model making. First one is data acquisition. I've used the Moody Lyrics data set as the ground floor data set for my model. There are 2,600 songs in it, and I've used Lyrics Genius Library to scrape out the lyrics of each song. I've done basic data processing and then gotten into the model input generation. I've used the glove representation to embed all the words in my corpus. I've then moved on to the model making part, which uses bi directional LSTMs. And what I found is I've gotten training set accuracy of 89% and validation accuracy of around 83%, which is pretty close to the mark set by the paper of 91.08. I've then uh, tested my model using 50 songs from a random data set. And I've then gotten an output of this sort, which contains the song and output emotion and sent it over to Lucy for further. Hi, my name is Lucy. Now that we have two models of classifying a song's emotions, now let's map these song emotions to listener emotions. There are two layers of listener emotions. The first layer is context emotion, the emotion of the listener before he or she listened to the song and influences his choice of music. The second layer is induced emotion, the emotion induced by the music in the listener. For mapping listener emotion to context emotion, we use this table here from the LJ to M scale, and we map it to the emotion scale provided by our audio feature sound mood classification system as presented over here. The results are shown in three graphs. The first graph is a bubbles graph that uh, display the intensity of listener emotions and probabilities through the size of the circles. The second graph is a line graph, the third graph is a bar graph. We prefer the bubble graph is to get more direct results. The second part of our model maps to listeners induced emotion, which it uses this table here to give the percentiles of probabilities of different induced emotions. The results are shown in the three graphs above. 